I've bought myself a new dumper. It's the Thwaites 1.5 ton swivel hydrostatic transmission. A bit of a rare odd dumper really and there's reasons why I went down this route which I'll explain in a second. But firstly it's almost essentially the same as a one ton dumper and that's what I really like about it. It's the same, pretty much the same length. Uh, it's on the same chassis as the one ton. Um, obviously it doesn't high tip this particular model but that wasn't really a problem for me because a lot of the work I do is using grab lorries and, and I, I don't need to tip into a skip so that wasn't a problem. The thing I really like about this dumper is it's got the ability to go everywhere that the 8026 will go but with that little bit more capacity. A three ton dumper they're just that bit too big for me so that's one of the reasons I went for this machine um, and it's worked out really well so far whether I've been basically use it like a glorified wheelbarrow yeah uh, you know having material in it and you're shoveling a little bit out that you need or you're doing some curbs and you're shoveling a bit of concrete or you need to knock up a, a ton bag of ballast for a bit of edgings or whatever you might be doing it can do that this will take that bit more than the one ton dumper it says 1.5 ton on the side to be honest I don't think any of them take what they actually say on the side this I think takes a ton I think that takes a proper ton um, in there. They say the skip's 800 litres, the one ton dumper is 500 litres, um, but I don't think you can get a ton in a, in a one ton dumper uh, uh, as such anyway. You put a ton bag in one and split it, it spills out the side before it's finished. So this will actually take a ton bag and some cement and you've got room to knock it about, which for me is just dead handy because that's the kind of work that I do. Um, it's 1.3 metres wide, so it's, whilst it's based on the chassis of the one ton dumper, it's that little bit wider gives you that bit more stability that the one tons are so um, renowned for having not a lot of. This will actually handle um, much rougher ground, as I say, that little bit narrower than the 8026, so she'll go down the paths that I'm doing here, for example, on this job, or when I'm working down the side of houses, anywhere the 8026 will go, this will follow, and it is just so handy for me. Um, you don't see many of them about in, in the UK, and I had to buy new because they just do not come up secondhand. Um, and I can I can see why. It's about I think it's about three grand more. I think I paid just over sixteen grand for this um, plus the VAT. So they are quite a bit of money for for a dumper. And when you think about it, you know the way the Americans work with the skid steers. Yeah, another three or four grand, you'd get yourself quite a nice skid steer really. Um, and then you can self-load yourself. Whereas this obviously requires something else to load it. But for me and the way we work here in the UK. Um, I tend to, I like, quite like a dumper, I've been able to dig this path out here, keep it clean, I haven't had to put a spool to the side and then scoop it up, um, and as a one man operation I can hop between the digger onto the dumper and back again as a one man band, run a skid steer, you've got to wrap two people really, one in the skid, moving, shifting and hauling, um, but they're a lot more flexible. But anyway, we're in the UK, we use dumpers, bit of an odd one, but um, works well for, for my operation and, and how I work. Um, it, I've been through uh, the one ton dumper in another review, so uh, you know why I, um, why I bought Thwaites. Um, I think their resale value is really good, I think they design a really good dumper, it's quite comfortable to operate. Um, it's got the same engine, the little um, three pot Yanmar engine, 21 horsepower I think it is, um, that the one ton dumper's got. And I was a bit worried that we would have issues maybe going up steeper hills or, you know, because it's got that extra bit of capacity. But it doesn't, I mean, it makes it grunt, don't get me wrong, when it's loaded and you've got a load of wet material in there, um, you know, you, you, do, you do notice it, it bogs the engine, but it, it's not short of power, if you know what I mean. And 90% of the time, these things are running around on pretty flat ground, like this field here, you know, it's really not, not an issue at all. Um, and it hasn't not gone anywhere, if you know what I mean. It's always gone everywhere I've, I've put it so far. Um, obviously, it hasn't rained much this summer yet, so yet to see what it's like in the in the real wet conditions but just like the the one ton I can't see it really being a problem um, yeah if you get this stuck to be honest you probably should be at home because it's way too wet for you so a few of you guys have been asking uh, about my dumper and so a lot of you assume I guess the three tongues it, it kind of made from a distance looks like it um, but and no one's really heard of the the 1.5 uh, and it took me a while to find it there's only two or three manufacturers that actually make like a 1.5 ton machine uh, I think the Wackanoosin do one um, which actually looks quite good but I find them awkward to get on and off of uh, with their they've got this like quite nice plastic 
sort of knee guard, which I'll steering column up, but it's actually quite awkward to get on and off. I find that you have to kind of get on them like slanted a bit odd. But really nicely made dumpers. Um, and they're, yeah, they're bigger range, certainly is uh, worth taking, um, yeah, worth taking a real look at. The other company are NC, uh, who I haven't really had a lot of, uh, a lot of dealings with, haven't seen them, they're not really that common. Uh, and I know a couple of the guys on Instagram have got one, but they're pretty, they're pretty rare in the East, to be honest. Uh, made in the UK. Um, I don't know where the dealers are. Don't, don't really know a lot about them, to be honest. So, be interesting if anyone has one to, uh, yeah, to see what what they're like. And um, you know, always keen to, to try out new gear. Uh, they look quite well made, and I've seen them at Plant Works. But uh, as I said, I had to go for the Thwaites really for me. That was um, local dealer. Decent enough price. Um, I think they make a really, really good dumper. Um, good resale value. These 1.5s are a. Um, uh, they're a, a quite a popular machine in Europe, apparently, and I, I don't really know why they're not more here. I've, I'm, it's gone really well with my 2.8 ton machine. As I say, you know, follows it wherever it goes. Um, it's got that extra bit of capacity. I, I was finding my real reason here was I was finding I was hiring a one-ton dumper purely for access reasons because you couldn't get three ton in there uh, those threes are that much wider and I didn't really need the right like the exact narrowness of a one ton dumper but because I couldn't fit a three that was the only other option you can really hire um, and I I'm denied and was very tempted to get a two ton and then whether uh, I got a two ton and swivel and I really wanted hydrostatic but they're an absolute fortune I mean god I got some dumper prices back and I new dumpers you could you could buy like a three ton manual straight tip for 12 grand uh, plus the vat you could buy uh the two point or the, i think they call it a 2.4 ton or something i don't know why it's basically a two ton dumper chassis with a hydrostatic box that was like 18 grand i think um and they varied in between really the, the, you say this was 16. a standard one ton um high tip that you see in all the plant high shops about 14 grand you get one of them for um Anyway, so I went with this. My theory was you can't hire one. They don't exist, or if they do, they're very, very rare. I do a lot of um, work with sports turf or paths where I have to follow the machine down the side of houses. Um, it's tight, but it's not tight enough to require a, a one-ton dumper, really. And this will pair well with both my machines, the, uh, the 8026 and the 801, sort of fits in between those two sizes. Might take a little bit more time to shift gear when, um, you know, if you've got a big muck shift on or something, but you know what? You can hire a machine if you really need one that you know will take a bit more because you've got a long haul or whatever. Um, you just hire one. What are they like 130 quid a week? I think I can get a, a you know, if you're long long term hire, add it down to 105 pound a week um, for a three ton swivel dumper. That's cheap, really, to be honest. I mean, would you put a 15 grand machine out for that money? Nuts. But anyway, that's the that's the hire market for you. Um, so that's kind of why I went with it. I can hire something smaller, I can hire something bigger, very cheap. You can't get this. This does 80% of my work. Um, and to be honest, you know what it's like when you own it. You end up using it for as much as you know as much as possible. This will probably replace a lot of my three-ton hire, really, um, because you just make do, don't you? Because you own it. You know, it earns you money. And does it take much longer? I mean, in theory, it's half the size of a of a three-ton dumper, sure, but. You know, you can shift. I've shifted a lot of kit in the last um, last few weeks with this. It, it, it was it take? I think 20 ton load or 19.6, whatever you get on a, on a wagon these days. You're talking about um, uh, maybe moving that in. Well, I think it's literally 18 loads. So it takes, to say, about a ton ago. Um, uh, that's what I found. Anyway, so uh, that's the reason I I, I bought this and. Bit of an odd time to buy a dumper, I guess, uh, but I try and buy something every year. It helps with, you know, offsetting your tax and, and various things. And I'm always looking to kind of improve and see what I can, um, you know, kind of build my my business with and the flexibility and what I can offer my customers. Um, and this sort of quite specialist little machine um, is all all kind of part of that. Um, it also fits on the trailer at Tree, which is where I am at the moment. So you can see here. Um, you know she fits on there absolutely lovely i have put a hole in the trailer but that's because the ply is like five years old and needs a needs a little bit of love but um you know fits on the trailer retreat nice and light and easy enough to tow um yeah i do uh, I'm, I'm glad i glad i went for it 
always nervous getting a dumpy thing uh, you know they can't really earn you much but um, you know it's another it's another load of money a day that I can charge out to uh, to my customer um, instead of giving it to a hire company which in my mind is all money in my bank um, and if I look after it could I well get 10 15 years of life out of this dumper look after her don't see why not they haven't changed for that long have they so yeah we'll see if I've still got it in 2035 Jesus might be a millionaire by then who knows we can only hope lads anyway um, that's my dumper um, yeah good little machine I'd, uh, I'd recommend you guys looking into it. Cheers.